Well, hello, boys and girls, and my gender non-conforming friends. I am Gia Bianca Stevens, and we are here for Drag Queen Story Hour, presented by the Utah Film Center. Today, we are going to be reading A Day in the Life of Marlon Bundo. So let's just hop right on in, shall we? Meet Marlon Bundo, a lonely bunny who lives at the Naval Observatory with his grandpa, the Vice President of the United States. But on this very special day, Marlon's life is about to change forever. Hello, my name is Marlon Bundo, and I'm a bunny. I live with mom, grandma, and grandpa in an old stuffy house on the grounds of the U.S. Naval Observatory. That's because my grandpa is the vice president. His name is Mike Pence. But this story isn't going to be about him because he isn't very fun. This story is about me because I'm very, very fun. This is the story of my very special day. My very special day started out like every other day. I woke up all alone. Then I ate a fine bunny breakfast all alone while I watched the news all alone. You see, sometimes old stubby houses are also lonely. After breakfast, I hopped to the garden to look at the flowers and say hello down there to the bugs. Hello, Phil. Hello, Dennis. <sighs> that is when I saw him. He was a big fluffy bunny with the floppiest floppy ears and the bushiest bushy tail. He was bunny beautiful. I was standing still, but being near him made my feel like my heart was still hopping. My name is Marlon, I said, but my family calls me Botus. It's short for Bunny of the United States. It's a long story. My name is Wesley, and my family calls me Wesley, said Wesley. Wesley and I hopped together all around the garden. We hopped over daisies. We hopped over tiny carrots that weren't ready to grow up and be lunches yet. We even hopped over Phil and Dennis. Once we had hopped through every part of the garden, we didn't want to stop hopping. So we hopped right inside the old stuffy house. We hopped up and down the creaky stairs and made beautiful creaky stair music together. We hopped through the kitchen and maybe left a few bunny prints. We hopped through the very boring meetings with very boring people. It was a very good hop. It was the best hop. And I realized something. When I hopped with Wesley, my old stuffy house didn't feel lonely anymore. At the end of our hop, I said, Wesley, I don't want to hop without you ever again. And Wesley said, that's funny because I never want to hop without you, Marlon Bundo, ever again. And we both said, we will get married and hop together forever. So cute. Hello, everyone, we said to all the animals in the garden. Hello, Phil and Dennis the Bugs, and Pumpernickel, who is a badger, and Scooter, who is a turtle, and Dill Prickle, who is a hedgehog, and Mr. Paws, who is a very good dog. Hello, all of you. We are getting married so we can hop together forever. Hooray, said Phil and Dennis the Bugs, and Pumpernickel, who is a badger, and Scooter, who is a turtle, and Dill Prickle, who is a hedgehog, and Mr. Paws, who is a very good dog. Hooray, said all of our friends, because that is what friends say. Wait, said a scary voice. You can't get married. We looked around and saw that the scary voice was coming from the stink bug. Let me tell you a little bit about the stink bug. The stink bug was in charge. He was important. None of the other animals could quite work out why he was in charge or how he was important, but he was. And that meant he made the rules. That meant all the animals listened to him even though he was, and this is true, very stinky. Boy bunnies don't marry boy bunnies, said the stink bug. Boy bunnies have to marry girl bunnies. 
But this is the bunny I love, said Wesley. And this is the bunny I love, said me, Marlon Bundo. Just being next to Wesley made me a little braver. Too bad, said the stink bug. I am the stinkiest and I am important. I am the stinkiest and I am in charge. Boy bunnies marry girl bunnies. Girl bunnies marry boy bunnies. This is the way it has always been. You are different and different is bad. The other animals whispered nervously among themselves. Pumpernickel, who was a badger, came forward. I am different too, he said. I eat my sandwiches crust first. I'm different too, said Dill Prinkle, who is a hedgehog. I read the ends of books before I read the beginnings, just to make sure they're not too sad for me. I'm different too, said Mr. Paws, who is a very good dog. Sometimes I sniff butts and I don't know why. Everyone is different, and different is not bad, said Scooter, who is a turtle. Different is special. Wait, said Mr. Paws, who is a very good dog, and also a very smart dog. Wait a minute. We get to decide who is in charge. We get to decide who is important. We can vote. And on this very special day, all the animals voted on who they wanted to have in charge. They chose... Not the stink bug! Hooray, said me, Marlon Bundo. Hooray, said Wesley. Hooray, said all of our friends, because that is what friends say. No, boomed the stink bug. Boy bunnies can't marry boy bun. You are not in charge, said all the animals. So Wesley and I got married. We had two handsome groom's otters named Muffins and Cubby, and a flower mouse named Hiccup. We ate and drank and danced the hokey pokey. Dilt Prickle was especially good. And the ceremony was performed by a cat named Pajama, who brought her wife as her date. After we ate and drank and danced, we went home together. We have to get some sleep, Marlin. Tomorrow we leave on our bunny moon. Because it doesn't matter if you love a girl bunny or a boy bunny, or you eat your sandwich backwards or forwards. Stink bugs are temporary and love is forever. The end.